Yeah. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Cadillac Jackson, and it's a little bit of a different setting here. Um, where the fuck are we? We're time traveling, family. We time traveling. You don't know it. It's your boy OG Sneakers, and hey, what is going for today? Oh, I love it. I knew this was gonna happen. That's why I did it. <laughs> Wait. Wait, we got the no. black cocoa bean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gina got it to the midnight cocoa bean. Yes. What just happened here? Now, look, we got time to talk about that. What do we do with right now? All right, so this is your man being Jedi with all my grades. I borrowed some OG. <laughs> uh, and this is what we're calling fat laces. So what this is, is when we have topics where we go over break and sometimes there's stuff at the end of the show that we don't get to like we want to. We miss comments, things we want to talk about a little bit longer than Timmy Tama lets us. We're going to go ahead and drop this for y'all. It's not live content, but it's content, again, that we're doing for the mighty, mighty kick talker. So yes, it's just an extended way for us to interact with you, give back a little bit to y'all, you know, something like that. And again, when we go on break, you'll probably see more of these than not. So that's what we do. This week, we're going to do one of the episodes from ep season 12, episode five, if I remember right, where we had a retro talk forum on. And OG was out in the track. OG was out in the yeah. fields. Um, he wasn't able to jump in on this topic, but we knew we had to get OG's opinion on this. And we were talking about TV shows. The retro talk forum question of the day was TV shows. Now, I'm not going to go through that whole list, but there was... I want to say there was about 26, <laughs> 26 different fucking shows. It was a lot of them. It was a lot of damn shows. OG will get those on the screen for you. But we just want to talk about what we had. We'll talk about the travesty, the turncoat gate of Cadillac Jackson not picking Martin. And I'm going to give him a chance to redeem himself because if he doesn't pick Martin, he's off the show. That's it. Wow. We're replacing That's not Cadillac happening. Jackson. That's not happening. We're, but wow. we're going to get into it. So Who are you replacing me with? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Your son can do a better job. Lil Jet, he just be like, eh. eh. He'd be better than you. Eh. He would be eh. better than you. I tell you what, I got your replacement right here. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Cadillac Jackson has been replaced by a pissy diaper. Oh, I'm sending you some Dare shampoo. <laughs> OG, I hope it rains in your area. <laughs> You trifling bastards. <laughs> OG, before we get into this question, can you please explain what the hell we're looking at? Is this OG from uh, 1980? What OG are we looking at right now? Hey, you looking at me? And just a little something, something, you know, just to kind of smooth off the edges. Is this all? It, it is what it is, you know? You call me, you know, midlife crisis, whatever. My daughter told me, said, Daddy, you look 10 years younger. Now, I know she was lying, but, you know, it still felt good. And uh, trust me, the look that you have on your face, every time I look in the mirror, I go WTF. But, yeah. You know, we all gonna, all, all I hear is the Cosby show going, bop, 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 but yeah, yeah. Midnight Cocoa Bean. Midnight Cocoa Bean on deck. <laughs> now, when y'all see this episode, y'all probably will have already seen it, but this is our first time seeing it. So uh, I, I did it. I, I needed I needed right. that moment. I needed mm. that moment. So Capture. Yeah, yeah. Probably we probably wouldn't be able to control ourselves on Wednesday. Um, if you'd have broke this out. So again, for the reminder, if you came across this video first, we actually do a full show called Talking Kicks on Wednesdays. 8.30 p.m. Eastern. We usually shoot seven episodes, then we go off for two. That's kind of how we run our show, but this is a little fill-in or a little extra that we're doing for y'all right now that we're calling Fat Laces right here for the Kick Talker. So let's get into our topic for this week, um, TV shows. So if OG, if you got the list there, I got Timmy Timer ready to, to bark at us. Timmy Timer is set for seven minutes. We've been babbling for a few minutes now, but Timmy Timer is going to give us seven minutes, so this video should be no longer than 15 minutes tops. So I, 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 eh, I don't have the list in terms of on the screen. However, I can pull the list up really quickly so I can at least read right. it. I can run down the list real quick. I have it right here. 
Oh, well, if you got it, go for it. My apologies. All right. All right. So we have Moesha, The Cosby Show, Good Times, The Jeffersons, A Different World, Martin, My Wife and Kids, The Bernie Mac Show, Girlfriends, Family Matters, The Jamie Foxx Show, The Steve Harvey Show, Sister, Sister, Living Single, The Parenthood, Fresh Prince, The Parkers, Everybody Hates Chris, 227, Rock, In the House, Amen, Smart Guy, The Wayne's Brothers. Oh my God. The Boondocks, that? yeah. The Chappelle Show, Hanging with Mr. Cooper, Malcolm and Ev- Eddie, That's So Raven, The Proud Family, Keenan and Kel, mm. and In Living Color. Jesus Christ. That's why I was hoping you had the visual because reading that list off is like, what? <laughs> um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think I can. Do I, want to, I want to give Caddy his props for being able to read that many names out loud. Uh, that was beautiful, Caddy. I am. Miss Trinidad would be proud of you. She would. Miss Trinidad would be very proud of you. She might even try and show you that little piece of thigh. Hey. Show a little piece of that thigh and then take it back. Let's see. Uh, yeah. So this, you, you got go. it up on the screen. So that's the list. If you check them out, I believe this is on Instagram. Uh, we just want to give them their credit. College Kid, capital K, capital K, double Ds. College Kid on the screen right there is the one that provided us the list. Um yeah. We did our list, so we can recap those. But I want to first give OG his time on Timmy Timer to let us know what he thinks of this list and what his picks would be. Three shows that you can watch while being quarantined for 14 days. So first of all, I hate you all for this because I think that this probably hits on me different than anyone on this panel because, like, I think I feel like some of those shows on there are throwaway for you all because you're like, nah, nah, I'm not doing that. And and maybe equally some are for me, but mm-hmm. it's really forcing me to like to deny stuff that was like I couldn't, you know, it was the first time seeing it on TV and I just got to I got to leave it by the wayside. And I I, I, got, I ain't gonna lie. I feel some kind of way. Now, there's plenty of stuff on there that I'm, I'm good. I don't care about now. My daughters did dro- did grow up on that. So Raven. So yeah, um, I, I, I I've seen it all, and I don't need to see it again. Okay, uh, <laughs> that was a, it sounded like it was about to make a turn I wasn't expecting. No, 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 no. OG dyed his hair; it's about to go all <laughs> yellow. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, no, dope question. I really had to kind of, I had to kind of, in order to get to three, I had to like look at them all and then like write down like, okay, I can't do without these, and it was more than three. And then kind of, you know, who, which one of my kids I got to kill, you know, type <laughs> of situation uh, to to get to to get to the three. But, yeah, man, this is uh, this isn't, it wasn't easy. It was not. I thought it would be easy, but it wasn't easy. It wasn't. And I'm still like if you ask me tomorrow, my answers might be different, but I'm I'm, I'm going to stick with the three that I came up with. So you want to know the three? Yes. What's the of course. Three? All right. OK. OK. No, I didn't know if I needed to do something else before I gave you the three. All right, so my my three, and this is in no order, um, but I'll give this one up first. Yes, I did include Martin. Thank you. You can um, say, but it was it wasn't easy for me because it was other stuff that I had to I had to say no to in order to say yes to Martin. Um, a different world. Mm, I can see that one. And living color. Wow. Mm. Wow. I did not expect that. So Martin, a different world, and in living color from OG. Yeah. Okay. So a different world because my knee jerk was a Cosby show, mm-hmm. but a different world resonates with me more. I went to HBCU. That was kind of, you know, that all of that that was going on was was more topical for me. Um, I mean, I love Cosby Show, irrespective of all the other things that, you know, people try to bring up when that comes up. And it's never going to, you know, change where it is. But if I had to choose between those two, I felt like in, for the 14 days, if I want to feel good and, you know, something that had long uh, longevity, it had funny moments, it had serious moments, it had, you know, real life issues that they were dealing with at that, that, that particular time. 
I, I felt like I could get that from Different World. Um, Living Color was it was either going to be that or the Chappelle show. Mm -hmm. and, for me, and for me, if I got to choose, I'm always going to choose a Living Color. Just it's you know it's it's kind it's in my wheelhouse. That's my time. That's my time frame. You know who don't want to see J Lo? You know in the Fly Girls out there before you know. But then Jamie said, you know, I knew you, you know, you wasn't even J-Lo. You was hey-ho. Hey-ho. So, yeah, I felt like I'm, I, I, if I got to make that choice, I, I'm going to go, I'm going to take that walk down memory lane. Uh, and for Martin, It wasn't necessarily like up against maybe like Jamie Foxx or anything else. It was just a bunch of other things that like, okay, what didn't make my list, but that I wrote down was Chappelle show, Fresh Prince, Good Times, which I'm really in my feelings that I couldn't choose that, uh, Cosby show and Jamie Foxx. That was it. That was like the ones when I went through everything, I was like, okay, this is the stuff I got to try to whittle, whittle down towards. Um, but at the end, I was like, okay, Martin Lawrence is just a fool. He's hilarious. Um, and yeah, I, you know, I, 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 at the end of the day, I couldn't look at anything else. I mean, I could have gone good times or the Jeffersons, but I felt like, okay, I'm getting a little bit of that from a different world and living color. And so, you know, let me kind of just choose the Jamie uh, to choose a the Martin and and rock with that, and y'all may have had a little influence on that, but I think at the end of the day, these probably would be the three that I, you know, that I came up with. Sometimes I watch Good Times, sometimes I like it, and sometimes I feel like it's like watching an old movie, like the first Star Wars. And you go, oh my god, this is horrible. Not horrible, but I mean, you know, like compared to the cinematography and everything, and how they yeah. do, you know, special effects now. It's like I, I, I can't comfortably watch it. So. I just but you know I, I will miss not being able to see Willona. So handsome V, one of these he added, it may have changed your list. Handsome V said that Sanford and Son should have been on here. Would Sanford and Son being in this list change it for you? It might have. Yeah, yeah. Now that, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could have easily replaced any one of these times. I probably would have replaced yeah. that so Raven with Sanford and Son. I probably yeah. would have replaced that's a Raven with Sanford and Son on the list. I would have replaced Smart Guy with the game, and I would have replaced um, mm. um Malcolm and Eddie with uh the PJs, and then that would have made my list a little tougher. But Martin and Jamie Foxx probably wasn't going nowhere. I might have put the PJs in over Everybody Hates Chris. I, I really I don't know why that's not a syndication. I don't know why I can't see the PJs, but it's fucking hilarious. And I don't even know how that was on TV. Like when you go back and watch it, they got a goddamn drug, a drug user on the show, baby. That, it's that, a drug that's on the show, bro. Crackhead is on the show. That shit is amazing. Um Cadillac Jackson. Yes, sir. Cadillac Jackson. How can I help you? Cadillac Jackson, as we roll up on this mark, Timmy Thomas is looking at me dead in my face, and he's giving you one chance to redeem yourself. Your list as you chose it was my wife and kids, the Wayans brothers, and living single. And you did not pick Martin. And then after the episode, if y'all go back and watch season 12, episode 5, um, Caddy knows all the answers to the questions. Wait, wait, run that list back? His list was what? His I know, Timmy Thomas, we about to wrap it up. Shut up! Um, uh, my wife and kids, kids. Wayne's brothers, mm -hmm. and living, living single. My list for people who give a fuck was Martin, Jamie Fox, and everybody hates Chris. But Caddy's mm -hmm. list is the one in question. Bro, you have to answer for that whole list, not just for leaving Martin. Oh, I oh, need oh, wow, wow, wow. Like, Jimmy Tyler, we going into overtime, baby. How about have you watched my wife and kids? What my wife and kids is hilarious. Wow, wow. I, I I that if I was picking like for you, I I would right pick, yeah I, I don't think that I don't think he no, owned his authenticity on this list though G I'm not disparaging the show I don't think he owned his authenticity either okay so first off I'm keeping my wife and kids that's that's fine that's the Damon Williams yes that's yeah. Damon Wade yeah. Yeah. with um Damn, I can't, 
Tisha Campbell. Thank you. I was getting ready to say uh, Tisha Campbell Martin. <laughs> With Tisha Campbell, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm keeping my wife and kids. Now, when it comes to the Wayans brothers, I really had to think about this. Because Beard brought up a great point. Jamie Foxx and Martin. And I'm we sitting there and I'm every and day. I'm, we talk to you every day. Yeah. And you quote one of those episodes from one of those shows damn near every day. So I will I will have to say I'm going to keep the Wayans brothers. First of all, it's the Wayans. Yeah, I was like, you was you was got stuck between the Wayans and the whatever. The Wyman's in the way it's I'm, I'm keeping I'm keeping the Wayne's brothers. Right. I'm getting rid of living single. And I'm putting in Martin. Cadillac Jackson hates black women. That's what that that's all that's said. <laughs> Cadillac Jackson does not like black women. That's why he got rid of living single. Y'all heard it here first. I got I got rid of I got rid of I got rid of living single mainly because when it comes to living single, Martin and Jamie Foxx, if I had to put it in order, it's going to be Martin, Jamie Foxx, living single. That, so then how that, the fuck the way is make it if those are your three? How did the way is make it? No, I'm talking about for the last question. I'm talking about for the last one. Oh, okay. I'm so the Wayans brothers. He's got the Wayans brothers, the top two. It's a top two show. So yeah. it's Martin and the Wayans brothers. Martin, Wayne's brothers, um, my wife and kids. Wow. I still wouldn't have picked that for you, Liz. I, 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 I knew we were. How? When I did it, because I knew you were going to have Jamie Foxx and Martin. I, in my head, I knew that we were going to have those two alike. And the third one, I was like, could be either anywhere. But I figured we were going to have Martin and Jamie Foxx together. See, the white, the my wife and kids joint is mainly because most of the time there's, there is something every day I say from that show, whether it's the ah, uh, nah, or, you know, something else from that show. Martin is just, is pretty much a part of your vocabulary. Like, even down to the, the part where it's like, like let's say something bad happens and you sit there, oh man, like that's from Martin, that's Pam. Yeah. So when I sat back and thought about it, I was like, this is you don't even realize it's a part of your everyday life. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, I gotta include Martin. Yeah. I, and I, for I, me, John Witherspoon, him on Wayne's Brothers was hilarious like mm. the the white shoes the pop pop shook them pop 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 shook them pop like i <laughs> like that i couldn't i couldn't get rid of that okay. i couldn't get rid of that now for me i think what made it what made it wayans didn't make it for me is because i went back and watched and this may have been it may have been a year ago i, I mm. can't remember when but i feel like netflix added the wayans brothers and i jumped in to start watching it and i was like it's a lot of cringeworthy shit. Like, if you're trying to be quote unquote woke, Wayne's brothers is not woke friendly. The, the the Africa episode, some of the comments they make about women, some of the comments they make about black hair, and this is not me being PC. This is just me. I, and that's that's a show topic, maybe. This is not me being PC, but as you grow and mature, some of your sensibilities change. Mm. And for me, I watch Wayne's brothers now a lot, and I'm like, mm, I can't laugh at that one. Like it, it hits me different. Not not on no PC shit. This is me in my own house. I'm gotcha. like, mm, that one don't feel good to laugh at. So for me, that's why Wayne's didn't make it. So if there was a show you could replace that show with, what would it be? Replace Wayne. I wouldn't replace Wayne's on the list. I still okay. think it, it deserves to be in that consideration. I think if you made a top 10 list, the Wayne's brother would have to be in the top 10. It just wouldn't make my top three. I I I, I felt like the list itself, and this is maybe just me grabbing for straws, but it was someone much younger than me that made that list. Oh, absolutely. On that, oh. I was like, especially like, someone much younger than black hair OG. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that 
Sanford and Son is not on there. Yeah, it's right. Travis. Mm. The fact that Malcolm and Eddie made the list. Yes, yeah. You know, yeah. Somebody Malcolm and Eddie, yeah. Malcolm they didn't, and Eddie it wasn't a lot. It should have been a I lot mean, shorter and a, some different stuff could have been on. We could have put Homeboys in Outer Space. If we was just going to put shit, we could have <laughs> put Homeboys in Outer Space on that motherfucker. But um, I, we, y'all know how we do. We can get on here and we can ramble forever. But we have already run Timmy Timer out. We've already been a good shot over what we were supposed to do. But this is kind of, we're playing with it, right? So, you know, let us know what y'all think. Leave some comments. Hit us up on the Instagram. Y'all can check us out on the Instagram. Beard underscore underscore Jedi. Cadillac underscore Jackson. And OG double E with a Z. Sneakers on Instagram as well as Talking Kicks. No G and no Z on the end of that shit because OG is throwing us the loop. Um, but Talking Kicks on the Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube. Let us know what you think. And we'll see y'all on Wednesdays normally. Timmy Timer, go ahead and say it. We out. Peace.